In the last episode, we built this absolutely adorable starter house with this amazing little crate workshop inside of it, and today we're going to be working on building the world's most expensive clay farm and pursuing a few other adventures as well. Ah, what a beautiful little house. And now devoid of a chess monster. I organized everything, and... There have been some updates to the pack, meaning our aeroplane is looking much more create-like and also requires mechanical crafters to make now, so technically I'm cheating by having this. So just uh, don't tell the pack developers. But that's okay, because today we're going to be making a clay farm, all right? Because I was looking at this brick house and thinking, man, I use so many bricks for this thing. I want to use bricks for other things. Get out of my world, you freaks of nature. And clay in this pack is a lot harder to get than normal, because if we go to the, you know, standard sand recipe, oh, you know, just wash clay. No, you get copper, no clay. In fact, if you want to get clay, just to show it, one of the easiest ways is to just crush gravel, but that's a 5% chance, so you need like 100 gravel to get 5 clay balls, and we're not doing that. Instead, we're going to ascend all the way to the brass age of the game, and where did I put my diamond? There we go. The brass age of the game. And something I've almost completely forgotten to tell you about, and jeez, I forgot how freakish I looked, is the quest book. You know, the whole sort of central processing of the pack because this is a quest book pack that helps you along the way and even gives you items like as little rewards for what you've done and uh you know chapter one pretty easy lava cobblestone wood this is all stuff that i should have been doing because you get some decent items as you continue through the pack uh whoops so we'll we'll fill that out as we go because we're going to be completing a lot of this quest book today. In fact, I'm running all the way up here because my intention is to, in the next like 30 seconds, complete chapter one in one fell swoop. And we're gonna be making those basic mechanisms because the recipe for blaze burners has been changed. And yes, you heard me right. You need blaze burners for a clay farm and create mechanized. Well, okay, you need blaze burners for an efficient farm. You don't need blaze burners. Eventually, we're going to have to do another portal build, but for now, I don't have any ideas, so we're just going to put another portal here and use netherrack in the corners. Technically stylized. So in the quest book, the last thing for chapter one is this assemble a basic mechanism, and these guys are kind of weird. They're sort of this pack's barrier to entry for some of the higher machinery, but they're really, really easy to make. I have enough resources for four of them with just eight cogwheels, but the first thing we have to do is press down some iron. And then, easy enough, this is just a sequential crafting recipe where you need to deploy two little cogs onto uh, these, well, I guess the iron sheets becomes incomplete basic mechanisms, and then smash it down, and you get yourself a complete basic mechanism. And that's already chapter one completely finished. Uh, huh? Oh, interesting. It didn't like bulk crafting those. That was weird. Why did it craft the first one fine well whatever we have four basic mechanisms and chapter four is chapter one is completely complete and uh we actually get to oh it wants us to make 16 before we can progress to chapter two okay then i'm gonna do that okay and with these finishing that should be our barrier to entry for chapter one being completed perfect and now we gain access to chapter two which wants us to make a bunch of brass stuff because that is uh what we're gonna do we're gonna do some brass things what is it craft a mechanical mixer done craft a basin done go to the nether that'll be done in a second craft a spout we'll get to that but i don't want to overwhelm anybody so what we're gonna do i think we're gonna deploy basic mechanisms onto netherrack and that's how you make empty blaze burners a bit of a silly recipe i know uh and you know i'm gonna make eight i'm gonna make eight blaze burners uh because we're gonna need a few of them for steam engines and processing and i mean it's the create mod but quite simply it is time to go deeper into the nether Ooh, that's pretty this is a gorgeous little biome i'm not a super fan of the oh you'll oh the biomes you'll go mod when it comes to the nether but this is nice i like this weird nether bamboo Oh, I might want to bring my airplane in here. What in the world is that? Okay, well, we'll have to look at that later because I can actually see our prize right here. A nether fortress because we need to fill ourselves some blaze burners. And I am absolutely bringing our airplane in here. I don't want to do this normal. Break! Why aren't you breaking? Break? Okay, thank you. Jeez. All right, I am well aware of how absolutely insanely dangerous this is. Uh, but we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, here we go. Oh, jeez. Alright, alright. 
Just take it slow. Take it calm. Oh, oh, immediately a problem. Immediate problems. Ah! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is terrifying. Cut the engines. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. No! So they can explode. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I'm in a new skin. I forgot to tell you about that. Yeah, whoops, that whole skin competition I had over on the Discord, uh, Ruger won it. So thank you very much. I love my little D Jojo, the industrialist skin. I look super cute in it. Uh, but yeah, now is not the time for looking super cute. Now is um, recovery, I guess. I hope my grave doesn't die in lava. Now, I don't remember if all my items come, like, exploding out of this thing. And I can't really build under it. So... Please don't have my items come exploding out of this thing. Oh, I don't have my back. Oh, God, so much is in this thing. Hold on, let's at least try to build underneath of it, okay? Okay, I think I just put a block underneath of it. Yes! Now I just want to make sure it's totally encased. Okay. Oh, and it just puts all my items on me. Well, whatever. It works, all right? It works. We saved our things. I do have to go back... Put all this stuff back on. Let's see, this should go necklace. This is going on my hands. That goes on my head. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's walk to that nether fortress, right? Or, well, how do I get to that nether fortress from here? You have a little piglin backpack on with an insane amount of abilities. Well, I don't quite want to fight every zombie piglin in the radius, but does this backpack give you those abilities? You hang around, buddy. Hello. You were sooner than I thought you'd be. Thanks. I am going to mark this area as fortress entrance so that I do not forget how to get out of here. Because I will. Ooh, there's a blaze. I see those little rods. Here, blazy, 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 blazy. I have employment for you. A novelty drinking hat. Huh. Okay, that's, uh, that's a Spongebob reference, actually. Ooh, and Diamond Horse Armor. Uh, cool. Can I... Do I have any more slots for this? Where could I put this? Reduces the time it takes to drink and eat items. Well, I don't really need that. But it adds to the look. I guess I don't need my goggles on all the time. How fast do I eat now? It's not that much faster. Um, are, are there no blaze spawners on this? How is that possible? Is that possible? Why is that possible? Whoop, there's a blaze burner. Or a blaze burner. A soon to be blaze burner. But he's got a friend. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. You guys ready? You guys ready for some epic Minecraft combat? Hooray! Sir, I have an important employment opportunity. Right, this guy. Maybe I can get this piglin. Oh, he doesn't have a bow. I thought maybe I could get the piglin to attack him. But that's right, piglins don't attack these guys anyways. I'm gonna grab these, though. I really want that backpack, though. What if they don't see it happen? Can't get mad at what they can't see, right? Why do you have 48 hit points? I'm gonna do it. Okay. It's all a simple uh, equation of just killing them before they kill me. Die, please. You know what? Okay. Awesome. Now, what is my reward? What is my reward? What is this backpack? Hold on. Iron backpack. No upgrades or inventory contents. It's just... It's just a... <laughs> what? Why? Why? <laughs> it looks like a zombie piglin. All right. I mean, I guess it saves us the upgrade, but I already upgraded my backpack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I got my items back oh, again, and now it's time to really get down to business, all right? I think the first things we should do is at least, yeah, start moving through the quest book again, see what rewards we can get, because I think you get you don't get rewards for any brass stuff. Fine, whatever. Well, as many of you know, it's blaze burner time, all right? And quite simply, the blaze burner can just go right beneath our basin. That's the only place we need it to be, because we are here to make some brass which all of my ingredients for are upstairs. I really need to consolidate this storage using like Tom's simple storage or something, which will happen, which can happen, but just not today. 
So pretty simply, it's half a stack of copper, half a stack of zinc makes a stack of brass. Give your blaze burner some yummy, yummy food, and away it goes. Awesome! We are advancing far into the brass age. Oh, also looks like we have some rewards. Cool. Very nice. And while we're doing our brass stuff, we really want to get our spout going right now because we're going to need a little temporary setup in order to make that destabilized redstone to eventually make mechanical crafters. So, a lot of moving parts to this one. Now, where is my kelp? Here we go. Spout. Here's a stack of brass. I want two stacks of brass because... You know, wow, look at all the, look at everything we just did right there. Let's see, that's completed, that's completed. For some reason, it wanted us to have 64 nether quartz before we can do, like, the quest stuff. But, I mean, not like we get anything, so it's fine. But we're gonna have to create a little bit of a setup here. Probably just temporary setup, all things considered. Because to make this nether quartz into rose quartz, the recipe's very different. We have to spout destabilized redstone onto nether quartz. And to get destabilized redstone, we have to take redstone dust and mix that bad boy over a heated blaze burner. So we already have that. We just need a way to take the destabilized redstone and put it into this guy here. And, um, spoiler alert... Uh, pipes will be the way to do that. Except, how am I going to power the pump? Nothing a little temporary cog spam can't quite fix. Perfect. I forgot to grab redstone. Oh my gosh, this storage system is the bane of my existence. I'm already forgetting like where everything is as well. It's bad. But all of that aside, can I right click? Yeah, toss it in. Nope. Hold on. Oh, I thought it burned away for a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Get to remove you so I can throw you in there. And then I can put the cog back. There we go. That should fill. That should... Yes! Okay. Very nice. Jeez. Our little workshop might be too little of a workshop. Yummy. Rose quartz. 16. Ah, hopefully enough. We'll see, though. Actually, no. Yes? No? Yes? We'll see. And of course, for those of you who know the Create Mod, you know what I'm doing next. We're making sandpaper, we're taking our rose quartz, and we're sanding them right down. Is it weird to anyone else that sandpaper takes an entire cubic meter of sand to create? That's, that's excessive. And then bada bing and bada boom, we have electron tubes, baby! Let's go! These guys are the basis for many of the great machines, and what we need is mechanical crafters, specifically. And, uh, well, okay, apparently they're used in- there we go. Precision mechanisms! I don't know what this is, this is what we need them for. I- I guess I should leave this system here, considering that we'll need it. Although, what I could do, actually, hold on, what I could do to make this a little bit more manageable? Is the cog could go here. Well, I mean, I could put stuff there. Can I still throw items into there? Well, I guess we'll have to find out. I don't know if that still works, but... Uh, it looks a little more intentional. Pretty sure this is going to be enough mechanical crafters. Uh, 21. Right, that is, I think, the magic number when it comes to... Oh, didn't realize there's thousands of recipes. Right, that is the magical number when it comes to mechanical crafting. Crushing wheels, but that's actually not what we're going to make here. Only one more blaze burner isn't enough for what I want to do today. So I want another way to traverse the nether. And that is jetpack. Oh, precision mechanisms. Okay, this configurator, by the way, super easy recipe. So not really an issue. I really should have a crafting table up here. Ta-da! Okay, so now we can make our precision mechanisms. Uh, decently easy. We only need two of them for this, so this shouldn't be too bad. It's going to be a bit of a slow process, though. Pretty sure it's sheet deploy that deploy that uh smash it down yep and then configurator configurator what go in do i do i have to do i have to hopper this in or something is it because of the configuration let's say mode empty there uh, nope okay oh oh dear plays of work yes and there's one precision mechanism now we gotta do that all again. Ta-da! Quest complete. Oh, yeah, I guess that would complete the entirety of Chapter 2, technically. Okay, this janky little setup that's gonna take forever to do. I believe I have everything we need to create our new way of moving. It should be this, and that should spring to life. And, uh, ooh, hopefully create a jetpack within the next, uh, week. And here we go. Our new way to traverse the skies and the nether and pretty much everywhere else in the world. 
spinning into existence. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. Jetpack, baby. But, uh, well, it, it's not charged up right now, so we got to do that. I'm pretty sure charging is really easy. We just need some sort of, like, vertical rotation. Right, slap it on right there, and that guy is just going to suck up air. I don't know if the jade stuff in the top is accurate. How, how fast is that going? Okay, that's pretty fast. That seems, that's, that pulls air pretty quickly. Okay. Oh, it did a little ding. I, was, I have my inventory open, but it did a little ding when it was ready. That's so cute. Okay. So, first question I have. Can I put a jetpack into a curio slot? No. I cannot put a jetpack into a curio slot. That's fine. Second question. Uh, do I look pretty cute? I look pretty cute. The backpack kind of clips through it, though. Third question. Jetpack! Yeah! Oh, this is great. How do I turn on hover mode? How do I, how do I turn on hover mode? Uh, okay, hold on. Let's try to, like, bounce to the ground. Not bad. I think it's R. There we go. R. Now, I believe this jetpack, you sink a little bit. It's not, like, perfect creative flight. Boy, that's a sound that it makes. Is the muffler mod in? Nope. Also, that definitely uses, that uses quite a bit of air. Okay, it uses quite a bit of air. So we're not gonna wanna go anywhere with this thing without like a crank at least in order to pull in some air to it. But this is super helpful. I can even sprint with it, which I think definitely does make me faster. It's not any better than the biplane that we exploded, but uh, this will be super, 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 super helpful. Awesome. So we have a jetpack, we have brass machines, but but what does this all have to do with the clay farm, right? That's the point of this video. Well, for a clay farm, you need machines, like actual powered electronical machines. And to make those machines work, we're going to be using a machine called an alternator, which, check it out, requires mechanical crafters. So there is indeed a method to my madness. Why is my... Why did my jetpack go off while I was sleeping? Maybe I shouldn't wear my jetpack all the time. It seems to go off as long as I'm in the air. In any case, we're gonna require a little bit of additional machinery like this rolling mill to make, so I'm gonna get all this stuff set up. You have seen me do enough crafting today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, well, I mean, this was temporary, technically. I mean, this was also temporary, but uh, oh, gee. All right, I, I'm, I'm quickly outgrowing how do I... How do I use... Oh, there we go. Okay. I... <laughs> okay. I am outgrowing this factory very quickly. And this should do the trick in about a year from now. Hooray! Now, these guys are pretty cool. The way they work... Well, as I was saying, the way they work... Ah, okay, there we go. The way this guy works is by consuming a certain amount of stress units at a speed of at least 32 RPM. It produces a pretty decent amount of FE per tick. 45 FE per tick? Not bad. You can see it filled up its 4,000 bank extremely quickly. I think if I break it and put it back down, we can watch how quickly... That's not too bad. And we can use these guys to power our machines. Hopefully, though more compact than this and thankfully 2048 is actually the speed of a passive steam engine so i've got a pretty good idea of how to do that that being said the first thing we're actually going to make with this is called a blast chiller uh because i want to make snow only because i want to make the build out of snow Snow's not needed to actually make clay now this machine needs invar which is a cool little thing you take a nickel and iron and a nickel i don't have any of i don't think nope so that's a mining trip. Alrighty, but it is back into the mines for me. I'm looking for nickel and tin and a lot of the modded ores. Like that one. Perfect. Beautiful. An amazing start. So I found some nickel, but not a ton of it. And I really want to be able to duplicate it. And with some of these resources, we'll actually be able to because uh, Mechanism has some pretty cool stuff. And it is kind of the focus of this pack, isn't it? Look at my little guy. So I got to do some crafting for you guys. This craft right here is going to not work, but this craft right here is going to be the lifeblood of everything we're doing. These steel casings are going to be the base of a lot of machines that we use in tandem with Create. And the first thing we're making here is called an enrichment chamber, followed by, I believe, a heat engine. Yep. And that will allow us to create a metallurgic infuser, crazy words, a mechanism crusher. And now we actually get to use the metallurgic infuser since I need to make something called infused alloy. And this thing's actually pretty easy. It's got some crazy, crazy name. But what we're going to do is power it with the alternator. You can see it's sucking up all the energy from the inside of that. And really simply, 
The iron goes here, the redstone goes here, and that metallurgic infuser is going to metallurgically infuse it into an infused alloy. And we need three more of those. We are going to be seeing this recipe a lot. It even makes a little noise. Listen. Well, the cogs are louder. And now we can upgrade our enrichment chamber into a purification chamber. And herein lies the secret to doubling all of our raw ores. So the purification chamber goes here. You can see it requires a lot of power. This this might not go perfectly well. So taking our raw nickel, placing it in here, and then supplying it with some flint, you can see it will begin to process. Now that was not nearly enough flint. Hmm, I need a lot more flint. Looks like milling gravel has a 100% chance of giving you flint, so just need a lot of gravel. You can even enrich gunpowder. Ooh. I'm also saying it's a lot more efficient to use raw blocks instead of just individual raw ore. So we'll do that as well, because that should save us on a lot of fun. Why does my saw stop spinning when I look away from it? Weird. All right, but now that's looking like a ton of oxygen. I wonder why flint is turned into oxygen. Wow. All right, it's a good thing I noticed that it's more efficient, but you can see the nine... Uh, raw ore turned into 18 clumps here, and then what you do is you throw them in the crusher, and it makes that terrible sound, uh, and unfortunately this is not a recipe that could be done in crushing wheels, though I really wish it was, I mean it would make sense to me, they're both crushers, but you then get dirty dust, and the dirty dust then gets enriched in the, in the enrichment chamber, which I turned into this thing, so... I have to make another one. No one said duplicating your wars was easy. And enrichment chamber two, perfect. Now I can attach plenty of machines to this thing, but as you might see, it may start to stretch our resources a little bit thin and have our things overstressing. Uh, it's not really overstressing, it's more so just running out of FE per tick. But uh, they're about the same thing for those of you who aren't really aware of how FE works, which means forge energy, if you're curious. And that's what I mean by overstressing. I'm using too many machines at once and it is ripping away our forge energy. And we are not actually gonna have enough flint to duplicate all of our nickel, but it's, it's, it's a pretty good amount of it, I'd say. Thing I can do here, considering how long this is taking, and I don't wanna sit here waiting for things to be done for forever, is I could make the speed upgrades. It does require crushing some osmium, which is a metal that I found underground, um, and I don't think my metallurgic infuser has enough energy to pull this off. I didn't connect it. Do it, do it, come on, it's right there, come on, get it, yes, <laughs> perfect. And just like this, we have a speed upgrade. So that's just gonna, I mean, make it faster. I mean, you guys know. Makes it faster, consumes more power. It's a speed upgrade, all right? No one's, no one here is surprised as to what this does. It's got a cool little UI and you can see it actually gives a pretty decent speed boost and it shouldn't take too much power. So now I don't have to wait that long. You guys have to wait the same amount of time because uh, my editor is just gonna cut to when I have all the uh, nickel. Hey, we have the nickel ingots. Very nice. Perfect. Uh, the last thing I need is to take these bronze plates. Bronze is a really easy recipe. You just make in a heated blaze burner. And I need to grab ourselves a slime ball to make a magma cream. And I used all of our uh, dough to make bread. So just give me a second and we'll have our blast chiller all ready and set up to go. Where is my wheat seeds? All right. And there is some slime. This pack has kind of a cool interaction of a slime ball over a heated blaze burner can just be converted right into a magma cream, which is pretty sick. And uh, then we get our circle thing ball cast, which you need for the blast chiller. And the rest of the way is making some invar, which I think is two iron, one nickel. Hooray! Finally, we have a blast chiller. Oh yeah. Well, I say finally, but that honestly didn't take too long. Not too difficult of a thing to achieve. And simply enough, all we need to do now is power this gentleman and feed him an infinite supply of water, which will not be that difficult. All right, I have had the snow machine working overtime. Just like I said, water goes right on in here. It's perfectly tuned so that it uh, pushes as many snowballs as it creates. And look at these building blocks for us. So it's time to do some building. And if I sound different, it's because I'm recovering from a cold. So a uh, silent building montage, go. What? what? Hold on. Why am I making guns by... What? What? I don't want guns. Why does spruce log saw into... 
gun, but but silent, silent building montage. Silent building montage for real this time. And there it is, clay farm. I know, windmill is a weird choice for a clay farm, but I've got lore, I've got an idea. The way I see it, you have these absolutely massive sails, these almost like wings attached to this tower. And what they're doing is beneath this riverbed, they're t churning these like giant metal scrapers that are, uh, you know, underneath the ground, tearing apart the dirt and the sand and the clay, and all they're bringing up into the windmill is the clay particles that get refined with inside of the tower. Because, you know, it's it's fun to have, like, a cool lore for your build. In any case, we actually have to build the clay farm, and, uh, well, it's expensive, but it should be pretty fast. Well, pretty fast for you guys. I suppose step one is to actually open up an entrance into this place. God, that looks cool from just, like, over at our house. I, I like that. I like big builds in the distance. Very pretty. So step one is a really simple wheat farm, which we only have one layer of. I didn't have enough wheat seeds to get this whole thing going, but uh, I can turn this on at least, and I believe these portable storages... Oh, that's interesting. Why are they not kissing? As I was saying, the first step is a wheat farm. And uh, right now I'm just going to leave this thing on. I guess they don't kiss until there's items in it because I need to collect the seeds and make this guy a little bit bigger because we need a pretty decently sized wheat farm for this because, of course, you know, the first step to clay is wheat and, even more importantly, seeds. Now, we are going to need some dripstone, so I'm going to use this nature's compass to take us over to a dripstone cave, which apparently is just right next to our house, which is great, because we need a little bit of a lava farm for this. Uh, this doesn't look like a dripstone cave. I'm not going to lie. I will take digging claws, though. I will take digging claws. A golden apple, too, but digging claws are fantastic. Oh, that's so nice. I'm going to go off on a whim and say uh, nature's compass is not working uh, for some reason because because there is a, there's no dripstone here. There's no dripstone here. Uh, I don't think there's dripstone three blocks in this direction. I, I could go down more, but I think dripstone caves can't happen at deep slate level, right? Like at a certain height, you're just you're just done. Oh, wait, no. The, the, the minimap is saying dripstone caves. Is the dripstone cave like fake? Is it like a little tiny like accident dripstone cave? Well... Actually, I guess we could use this thing called a magma crucible, because that can turn cobblestone, it says, into a bucket of lava. Oh, but it requires 200,000 RF. Oh, I see. Well, I know sometimes these guys can drop some goodies. I mean, maybe, maybe they drop dripstone? Big slime. Not dripstone, though. I have no idea where we're going to find dripstone, other than, like, all the way back in episode one, when we found dripstone like way back here i kind of don't want to go way back there especially since i don't have an airplane anymore but it's looking like that is the option i mean how long could it take to go there and back i have a jetpack so it's not like i'm gonna be you know walking across the ground or using up any hunger actually you know what that that did not take a lot of time at all then on the progress we need crushing wheels not only just for the farm itself but actually for the next step in making the farm we need crushing wheels why is clay so expensive in this pack in fact i'm gonna make two pairs of crushing wheels because who needs andesite alloy right there we go crushing wheels because in the infinite wisdom of uh create mechanized you need sturdy sheets to make the blaze burner straws from crafts and additions that make it like infinitely easier to give your blaze burners liquid fuel and i mean yeah it, it makes sense it does but geez it's a long process at least now with the powdered obsidian it is a fairly easy process since we do have this right here and some lava to put into it boy this farm has progressed us very far into create mod and yeah all that for uh one straw and boop 
Alright, little lava farm in place that will eventually fuel this blaze burner. Two cauldrons should be more than enough. Still though, this this is this is a problem. This is an issue. I don't know what's going on with this. So this will essentially be creating what's called biomass, right? The wheat and seeds are going to come out of here. Seeds come in here and get pressed down into seed oil, which will get pumped into this basin where wheat will come in that will get mixed over the heated blaze burner into biomass. And biomass is actually where our metallurgic infuser is going to come in. Yeah, you thought those were just for doubling ores, but no, metallurgic infusers and enrichment chambers are going to be very important, as well as one more machine that I'm going to whip up right now. The igneous extruder is one of my favorite blocks quite literally we just place it with uh, water on this side lava on this side and in this little interface it'll just start spitting out cobblestone you can even make it do a bunch of other different recipes and it just makes a cobblestone generator a lot simpler a lot more lag friendly and you know kind of fun we can also speed it up by making these integral components which it looks like we can at least make the base tier the upgrade requires electrum which I think we could do, and then what's the highest tier? Endurium? Yeah, that's probably out of our reach. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I just don't think I have an ender pearl. I actually think that's the only thing I don't have for Endurium. I don't think that's a big deal, though. And this is the base integral components, and then I think we need a smithing table to upgrade to... Yeah, they reinforced, and then... Uh, I guess we could do the later tier later, but this should be pretty good. And then, of course, this is going to be our cobblestone into gravel and then gravel into sand. And then we need to do a little bit of filtering. We'll get a tiny bit of clay, but it's not the main thing. Ooh, farming update time. So we have our biomass creator, which is going to spit the biomass out here. And it's going to end up inside this metallurgic infuser slot here to fill up its infusing slot. Now, eventually, this infuser is actually going to fill with sand, because biomass plus sand equals dirt. Dirt mixed with water is mud, and mud in an enrichment chamber is, of course, clay, hence the massive cost of this form. All we have to do is get the actual sand farm up and running, which will take a little bit, and then, you know, uh, power everything, which uh, I'm trying not to think about right now. Also, these guys haven't made any lava, which is making me nervous. Oh yeah, and the whole problem of this being a completely uh, non-functional as well, which is kind of really important since it's, you know, the basis of the whole farm, but uh, it's neither here nor there. Oh, it set the thing on fire because of the lava. Hopefully if I encase it like this, that won't happen anymore. Hopefully that doesn't burn down again. So these I'm making right here are called basic universal cables. They move FE per tick, which is going to be really helpful with our alternator. Ooh, and one more update. We have a passive steam engine powering the alternator, which is powering both the enrichment chamber and, of course, the uh, metallurgic infuser. It's also, thankfully, I managed to be able to get that boiler centered, so at least that looks kind of intentional and nice. It now really just comes down to uh, powering everything else and then figuring out what we're going to do with the portable storage interface. And I'm hoping that the powering of this won't be that bad. I mean, it shouldn't be. Up, oh, and I think, yeah, more fire. Is the fire coming from the cauldrons or the cobblestone? I, I have no idea. It also occurs to me that uh, this, this chest is in the way. I don't even know why I have a chest here. It should be another chute, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it don't work. Like how fast this makes cobblestone. It's so cool. I love the igneous extruder. Are you a fire, or is that just a campfire? My tower burning. Ah, it's on fire. Okay. All right. So, so, so the lava just just sets this. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Please don't burn my tower down. Ah! It's sweeping me away. You know what? Get destroyed, fire. We're done with you. All right, we're done. We're not We're not burning down my tower anymore. Dang it. All right, hopefully this sick water wheel engine is going to be enough. Whoa, really? Whoa. Okay, some things are going in the wrong direction, which is all right. And I just realized that we really don't want this thing spitting anything out because it's going to throw resources all over the place. So I'm going to pop that off for now. But the important thing is that everything's powered. Ah, oh, these guys aren't powered. Dang it. Well, this belt goes in the right direction. 
But this belt goes in the wrong direction, of course. We got some changes to do. Oh! Ah, we're stressed. How bad is it? How bad is it? Hold on. I have a stressometer somewhere. Ow. All right, that's looking good. Let's see. Belts are moving in the right direction. Water's filling up here. Mixers are spinning at a decent speed. You're moving. Okay, everybody's moving. Everybody's grooving. Everything's spinning in the right direction. Gearboxes and cogs are everywhere, but that just makes it look nice. Oh, it's all coming together. I even have some filters here to filter out the uh, not sand from the yes sand, which is pretty great. It's looking good. It's looking good. So I suppose in this regard, we could visualize a bit of a test run. Oh, and you know what? I need to filter these too. Hold on. So seeds go in here. Wheat goes in here. But this is going to go into right now. It's just going into an overflow chest, but I'll put a nullifier here. Uh, a nullifier is something we have access to. It's a very easy craft. They just haven't made it yet, and it's basically just a trash can. So we'll use that for a bunch of discards and stuff like that. It could be used down here even. Um, so I suppose we would see a seed coming here. Yep, that works like that. Perfect. And then two pieces of wheat is the magic number. Uh-huh. That creates biomass, which should spit out there and end up in the metallurgic infusers and fuse spot here. Perfect. And that actually requires uh, two biomass, but we have 10 millibuckets of it. Very nice. And then here, I guess we should test this. I only wanted to spit out a stack at a time since that's just a little bit more efficient. We shouldn't see any not sand to try to enter into this if I've set things up correctly. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Okay, that's going to metallurgically infuse that biomass into that sand to create a piece of dirt, which it should spit into here to create a piece of mud. Let me see it. Good. And, ah, yes, because I haven't filtered that thing. Hold on, hold on. That's why we needed this mud to get the mud filter. Okay, so that would go in, so that would be in there. Should pull it out. Oh, does this guy need to be told to input on the hay? Uh-oh. What's what's happening? What's breaking here? Are you powered? Why do you have flint inside of you? Well, doesn't matter. We make clay. Okay. I have also gone and repaired our little portable storage problem. So I just need a few more shoots. But you can see as this guy comes around... Give him a second. Uh, these two portable storages will now kiss. Mwah. And then just run along the exact same belt line. Like, the, the setup is not any different. And, uh... That's a fully automatic clay farm. I have no idea why there was flint in this, but that shouldn't happen anymore. Good lord, this was expensive. Hey, look at that. There we go. Interestingly, it seems like, for some reason, the lava isn't keeping up with the blaze burner. I know seed oil can be used for the blaze burners. Do we produce enough excess to pull the seed oil instead? We might. I, I guess the best thing to do is to try it? I suppose? Have it pull like this, so it only pulls, I, th I think that would really only pull excess, or at least it would split it, which I'm okay with. Let's see, I don't think this has any seeds in it right now. Okay, I just heard it harvest, so we should have some seeds in here, and then this seed oil, yeah, gets converted, and nice, I think? I, th I think we're, like, do whoops, I didn't have my jetpack on. I, th I think that's a good sign. I think, honestly, that we probably didn't need to go through all the trouble of making this little lava farm. I'll leave it here for now, just because it's in here. But this... This might actually just completely function properly. Right? Like, is this going to fill up first? It kind of does, yeah. So this seems to take the most of it, and then the blaze burner down here fills up, like, a little bit. I don't mind that. And once this thing's moving a lot faster, like, it has more seeds in it. Yeah, okay. All right, what are you doing in here? Well, this was overcomplicated, I think. 